Is there anything I can get for you? Oh, like a doll? Oh, really? <laughs> okay, guys, I'm done being silly. Y'all need to get up to my level. This some like <laughs> this some next level boss. Okay, I ain't sure. This broad is psychotic. Average chameleon. I mean, look at this. I mean, that's that's Illuminati confirmed right there. <laughs> And then she stuck it out again. What? It, get your mama off the internet. Can somebody get your mama off the internet, please? This ain't a good look for mama. Get get mama off the goddamn internet. Get her off. Demo, Zell, give you PayPal. You got to give us something, sister. With that nasty white coated tongue. Come on, y'all. Come on. So I told y'all earlier that we were going to get into some content from Ringo TV, and that's what I want to jump into. Um, I came across this on Ringo's page. I think the video was called The Confessions of Melanie King. So let's hear Melanie King confess to some things. Confession of Melanie King that will open your eyes. Let's react to this. Let's go. Because I have to be bold. And I'm going to tell you, the other day when I had all that anxiety, I was really fighting within myself because I knew the truth. I knew the calling God had on my life. Before we started YouTube, I was actually in ministry. A lot of people don't know this about me. I was in full-time ministry. I actually was writing a book for single women. You were in full-time ministry, and apparently you were just allowing the words to go in one ear and out the other. How are you in a position of leadership within a faith-based community and you can't even keep your own household together? Make that make sense. Women, with my ex, we were doing ministry in New York City for single women. It was for singles in general, but for single women, you know, because a lot of times single women in ministries. That was the trajectory that I was supposed to be on. I'm not gonna get into all that happened and why that didn't continue. But then we had the, uh, you know, God. I think we can speculate all that happened and why that didn't continue. But okay, let's go. I don't know. It could be God. I don't could be myself. The one to do. Oh, good Lord. Don't blame it on God. Don't don't blame it on God. YouTube. We found I found success in like three months in doing that. And so that's what I started doing. But I never loved doing kids YouTube. Wow. I, it just was not me. But I never loved doing kids YouTube. I, it just was not me she never loved doing kids youtube she said melanie king said it was not her damn that's a slap in the face to all of the fans of that show that's a slap in the face to her children in the woods i'm trapped in the forest where is she where is she i'm crazy you're the other way you go the other way what do you mean Mommy was just faking all along. Mommy wasn't happy all along. God damn, that's a blow to the children. In the face to her husband, that mean that she was 100% fake while doing kids YouTube. Let's go. But I never loved doing kids YouTube. Wow. I, it just was not me. Wow. I knew it wasn't what God really wanted for me. Kids, YouTube paid for your new face, Melanie. What are you talking about? Stop the cap. You loved kids, YouTube. You loved exploiting your two little daughters, never showing your face, but showing theirs for the world to see. You loved getting that YouTube bread, finding success in only three months. You loved it. And you were so, so sad when it went away. She says she knew that was not what God wanted for her. <laughs> But yet she made millions of dollars, was successful, and had her kids in it, her husband in it. She was literally being fake the whole time. Wow. If that don't speak volumes of what she's doing now, then I don't know what else to tell you, fam. Let's go. Because I knew my calling a long time ago, and through circumstances, I could not continue to walk in that or step into that. But now that through my divorce and now that she's divorced, everything I've been through and coming to the end of myself. Now that her husband liberated her. But but guys, you know what? You know what's so funny? She didn't get a divorce until after she got the new face. It's almost as if as if 
as if she, if she had her natural face, she would have stayed in her natural state of femininity, if we can call it that. It's almost as if when she transformed her face, she got an inflated self-sense of worth, and she destroyed her marriage, destroyed her household, destroyed a thriving family business, y'all. In the Lord, trying to have, you know, trying to justify my decisions and what I wanted to do and, and how I'm living and, and, you know, just, you know how it is. You know God's called you to do something, but you're fighting, you're fighting. You are fighting him with a nail and it builds so much anxiety and unrest and you're scared and you feel helpless and you feel terrified. All of those things were happening. So when you were living in that McMansion with anything you could ever want, making hundreds of thousands of dollars filming content on YouTube with your daughters, somehow you were so oppressed and, and so burdened and, and, and you knew that God's calling was, was just outside of, outside of your reach, right out the window, but you just couldn't open the, what are we talking about here? Crying, woe is me. Somebody break out the baby violins for this hoe. To me because I was fighting who God designed me to be. I have a purpose in this world. Your purpose is to be a mother. <laughs> That's your purpose. And you was doing that with your kids. And it's a shame that you have to be on camera to say that you didn't even love doing kids YouTube. That is a shame. I have, thank you, I appreciate it. Sorry guys, I'm not reading the comments because I'm, I'm, I'm driving, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. I just stopped and, and saw that at the light, but so apparently doing these call-in dating shows with her army of simps is her calling from the Lord, not doing YouTube content with her family. Okay. I, I was fighting who I was supposed to be. I was really miserable doing kids YouTube. Wow. I was always scared that it was. She said she was miserable doing kids YouTube. Isn't going to work. Listen, abused. listen again. Who I was supposed to be, and it's why I was really miserable doing kids YouTube. What? I was always scared that it wasn't going to work. Our views would drop, lose huh? money. That might be more popular. So, come on, y'all, come on. So the whole time she was afraid that she would lose money and and the views would slow down and she wouldn't be as popular. You know what I think she was really afraid of. You know what? After after she started grifting off the legacy of Kevin Samuels, I think she was afraid that Kevin Samuels, God babies, would come for her. And y'all, through the last couple of weeks, them God babies been coming for her neck. Oh, have they been coming for her neck? Put a one in the chat if y'all are familiar with the Asian man that called her out. Put a two in the chat if you're familiar with the uh, Gene the Handyman that called her out. Actually, shout out to Ringo TV again. I found out about that on a stream that he was doing. I didn't even know she got called out over Kevin Samuels' clout chasing. Not once, but twice, y'all. Not once but twice. So let me see. Let, let me check in with the chat. I see some ones. Okay. I see some twos, but, but I think there's some people watching who are not familiar with uh, how Melanie King acts when she gets called out over Kevin Samuels. I think there's some people that aren't familiar with the threats that she makes against people's lives on live stream. So, so let me run that footage for you. You, yeah, need, to wonder, here, you need to wonder why I'm going to put you in a body bag. You need to worry about your own funeral. How come you didn't attend his funeral? Why are you worried about what a grown woman's doing visit her friend's funeral? You don't know what I've been through emotionally. You don't know what I've been doing with the family. Ho. Ask me another question about my friend. Ho. You, yeah, need to wonder, here, you need to wonder why I'm going to put you in a body bag. You need to worry about your own funeral. Right? He ain't had no beef. What was he talking about? Why I didn't go to my friend's funeral? Fuck you, ho. You ain't going go there. You start talking about Kevin. That's why I get my feelings. I'm going to come at you with a little bit of smoke. And I'm going to ask you a question. Why you said that Kevin is your friend, right? You, and you name drop him a lot, right? I, I, I see. I, I notice you do. You, you name drop him. Um no one can get in contact with him and he's not answering let me i'm gonna I'm call his other phone hold on guys 
Oh yes, I was trying to reach the um the emergency room or just, uh I'm trying to find out a friend of mine was rushed to the hospital. I was trying to find out what room he's in. Or if he's there. What's the name? Um last name is Samuels. How come you didn't attend his funeral? This went in a direction I was not expecting it to go. Why are you worried about what a grown woman's doing visit her friend's funeral? You don't know what I've been through emotionally. You don't know what I've been doing with the family. Ho. Ask me another question about my friend. Ho. Yeah, real feminine. He ain't had no beef. What was he talking real, about? Why I didn't go to my friend's submissive. funeral? Fuck you, ho. You ain't going go there. You start talking about Kevin. That's why I get mm. my feelings. You, yeah, need to wonder, you need to wonder why I'm going to put you in a body bag. Oh, he needs to wonder why she's going to put him in a body bag. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you the true Melanie King. The truth comes out when she's pressed. The truth comes out. Mm, mm, mm gonna put you in a body bag and guess what guys it was so funny but after i made a few videos reacting to this um melanie king went and deleted two weeks of live streams yes yes melanie king went and deleted two weeks of live streams and i got the receipts that that stream was was from let's talk dating and relationships the melanie king show episode 36 but when i go to click the link oh the video's been privated hmm you and your feelings, girl. You and your feelings, girl. The video has been privated. But wait, there's more. Watch, guys. I'm going to further confirm that this is not a conspiracy, that I really got this woman so pressed she just deleted, like, two weeks of content. Um, So this is episode 36, right? Episode 36. Well, let's go to Melanie King's channel real quick. Why don't we? Let's go to Melanie King's channel. If you go to her channel, we go over to videos. We see for some reason only reaction videos. No live streams. Four days ago, 11 days ago, reaction video, 13 days ago, reaction video, two weeks ago, reaction video. No live streams. Melanie, where did your live streams go? Melanie, what happened? Grandma, did you fumble at the computer? Did it, did something happen? And, and you know, you, you clicked the wrong button. I'm not sure how you can and how you can save face when clearly you got exposed to the point where you went and you deleted damn near two weeks of content two weeks ago still no streams two weeks ago still no streams two weeks ago a month ago still no streams a month ago still no streams a month of, damn she deleted like a month's worth of content guys look at this the first stream that pops up is right here a month ago how many of you guys that are watching right now whether live or on the replay how many of you guys watch melanie king don't you agree i mean this isn't some mandela effect don't you agree that she just did a few live streams last week but i mean her channel says her channel says she hasn't done a live stream in a month not only that but if we click on the last live stream that's public on her channel if we click on the last live stream that's public what's it say shoot your shot episode 12 whoa shoot your shot episode 12 Okay, okay. But the stream where you got exposed on for Cloud Chase and Kevin Samuels yet not showing up to his funeral was uh was episode 36, Melanie. So hey, the math ain't math and you done deleted 24 episodes. We got you so pressed, you deleted 24 episodes of your own damn show. It's not looking good, people. It's not looking good at all. It's looking real bad. It was looking real bad for Melanie. And then and then Melanie tried to save face again because after I did the stream calling her out for deleting videos, well, guys, after that, she sent me a message saying she deleted them on accident and she went back and put all the videos back up, guys. So I just wanted to show you guys that proof, that proof that she went and deleted two weeks, damn near a month's worth of live streams. You see, it was private. We couldn't find none. But now, present day, after I called her out yet again for her actions, now she went and, and put the videos back up. Damn, Grandma is pressed. Grandma is real, real pressed. She pivoted and left. She pivoted and right. She don't know what the hell to do. And I saw there was quite a few people who... um who were not aware that she got called out over cloud chasing Kevin Samuels, not once, 
but twice, not once, but twice. So before I give you guys a little preview of the second time, make sure to smash the like button. Likes are free after all. And drop a little bit on the Cash App or the PayPal. A little goes a long way. And shout out to all of the sponsors of the stream this evening. Now, guys, don't go anywhere. Right after this stream ends, there's going to be a 10-second countdown, and another stream is going to begin. And the next stream is going to be taking a deep dive into Melanie King getting exposed over Kevin Samuels. But before we end the stream and start the next stream, I want to give you guys a little preview as to what you're going to see. I, wa I want to give you a little introduction if I can, okay? Is that is that all right with you guys? See, she got called out the first time by the Asian man. I'm going to come in. I'm going to come at you with a little bit of smoke. And I'm going to ask you a question. Why you said that Kevin is your friend, right? You, and you name drop him a lot, right? I, I, I see. I, I notice you do. You, you name drop him. How come you didn't attend his funeral? This went in a direction I was not expecting it to go. Yeah, direction she was not expecting it to go, and then and then she gets called out a second time. You so try to make you 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 yeah. taking you taking Kevin Samuel doctrines and what what he was teaching out there to make a bag on a dead man money. That's ex that's what I did. I did I did I did put that in the chat. So now you got triggered by that, and that's on you. Now you want to tell me that it was smoke? No, it was an opinion. That's I have the liberty. You have a chat open. People put comment in the chat. You don't get triggered. But then when the truth come, you get triggered. I promise you, I am triggered. I will make a bag off of a dead person. Bring it. Any, any beef you have, bring it. I will run my numbers up on your toe tag. She will run the numbers up on his toe tag, guys. Stay right where you are as soon as the stream ends. Another one is going to begin. There's going to be a 10-second countdown. You do not have to leave the screen that you are on. And then the next stream is going to be taking a deep dive into that situation between her and Gene the Handyman.